my daughter Agnes drives me to school. I quit driving when I was about 80. What time's your first cooking class? 10, uh, 10 45. Right now I am still 101. But January the 12th, I will be 102. Wow. Ah, isn't that a big number? That's a really big number. Yes, it is a big number. Your doctor said you're in good health? Yes, he did. He says my heart's like a 40-year-old. <laughs> I come here with my daughter. And I'm going to go right to my class. I'm going to go in with you. Okay, great. She's an art teacher at Sundance School, and I teach in the kitchen here. Sundance is a arts-infused private pre-K through five uh, school in North Plainfield, New Jersey. Granny um, has been here since around her 80th birthday, and what Granny brought to the environment are teaching children how to cook, how to sew, and I, I can't think of more practical, you know, wonderful things to teach children um, in these times. Oh, when I was a young girl, school was different, completely different. When I was in Illinois, naturally, we didn't have the equipment that they have today. Computers, television, cameras. We didn't have even an inside toilet. We had outhouses in for school kids, and we didn't have electric lights, and we had gas lights and then candles. When I was growing up, it was a different life. I got married in 1938. I took care of children and the house. I was a housewife. My daughter was a teacher. That's why she went to work and I helped with the children. She came home and said they needed somebody in the lunchroom. Would I like to go? I said, yes, I'd like to. And then after a while, uh, somebody left the cooking room and they said, would I like to take that? Or, well, that was the perfect place for me. In school here, they call me Granny. The teachers also. And I'm just a, a natural Granny. I'm, I know that they love me. Granny is a beam of light, this gentle strength and warmth that emanates from her at all times. And we have this incredible opportunity to be in her presence and to be able to learn from her. Some, some say that the only way that generations get a chance to spend time together is through poverty. Like under one roof, people have got to stay together, you know, through thick and thin. And here we have the luxury of her presence at all times. What's your advice for people if they want to live to be 102? Just be happy with what you're doing. You have to like what you're doing. My favorite part of teaching here is taking care of the children. I made all the aprons for the children to wear to keep their clothes clean. I made the curtain for the school to play. I made costumes, a lot of them. I enjoy that, especially see them on the stage dressed up at what I made. This is happiness for me. You think I did all right? You did wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to give you a hug. Mm -hmm.